I'm gonna show you one of my favorite kind of pro level tips with using the Mio XL. Now, if you notice on the front panel of the Mio XL, uh, we have 32 presets that we can access on the front panel, either using this encoder, using the next and back buttons, and we can load and then save presets, again, directly on the device. But one of my favorite pro level tips is being able to remotely access those presets from our DAW. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make that happen. I'm gonna use Ableton Live for this example, but any DAW that the XL is compatible with, which is any DAW that handles MIDI, this will work with perfectly. So first thing we need to do is make sure our Mio XL is connected to our computer using the USB DAW connection right there. So I've connected a USB cable to, uh, in my case, Ableton Live. I'm gonna go to my DAW and I'm gonna go to MIDI preferences here, click link tempo and MIDI. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to outputs and I wanna look for Mio XL preset selector. I wanna make sure I enable track on the output of this, okay? What that means in my DAW again, this is specific to Ableton, is that I can go to any track in my Ableton set and choose Mio XL preset selector. And that's gonna send that MIDI to the Mio XL. Now, the way we can do this is by sending program change messages from one all the way to 32 to call up a specific preset on the XL. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this in Ableton Live, again, specific to this DAW, but whatever DAW you're using, just look up how to create program changes, send that either one to uh, um, any number between one and 32, and you'll call up that exact preset. Let me show you how to do this in Ableton. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to this track here. I'm gonna double click to create what's called a dummy mini track. Let's call this preset one. Now I'm in Ableton Live 12, so I'm gonna go down to my launch box here. I'm gonna to go to the bottom where we see bank, sub, and program. And in program, I'm gonna type one, okay? Well, let's test this out before we go any further. All I'm gonna do is click this clip launch button here, but I wanna actually show you this view so you can see the front panel of the interface, okay? So I'll try to hold this in place, hold this steady. I'm gonna click the clip launch button, and you'll see that we immediately go to preset one there. Now don't be confused. It's kind of confusing because it's named preset 32, but you see preset one there, right? Now let's go back into Ableton Live as if we couldn't be more confusing. Uh, let's create a new clip and let's jump to preset 32. So I'll type 32 down here, okay? And I'm going to launch this clip here, but I'll show you on the front panel, we jump to preset 32, which is ironically enough, also named preset 32. But let's jump from there to, uh, look, another preset 32. Let's jump to preset 11, okay? So I'm gonna go back to preset two, uh, let's load this, and I'm gonna jump to preset 11. How do I do that in Ableton? Create a MIDI clip, go to program, type 11, and then we're going to click the clip launch button to launch it, and as soon as we do that, we jump to preset 11, which thankfully is named preset 11. So pro tip, don't name presets other than preset 32, preset 32 or it ruins your video. And number two is use program change messages from Ableton Live to call up presets on your Mio XL. This is super helpful in a studio setup where you've got a lot of configurations and a lot of routings done. Uh, you can remotely access this using, um, again, as long as you're connected to that USB DAW port, um, uh, change presets on your interface without having to physically touch your interface. And again, super helpful on stage as well. Now, if you have any questions uh, that were not covered in this video, click the link in the description of this video to head to our support knowledge base. Check out all our articles that are archived there. And if you can't find an answer to your question there, don't worry, you're not out of luck. You can submit a support ticket and our team will be in contact with you as soon as possible. Will be certainly to solve your issue. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and uh, make sure not to name any preset other than preset 32. Preset 32. All right, see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.